this is Chris Bonales. Like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Bonales. So follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my AEW Wrestle Dream 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about Wrestle Dream for tonight. Now we kick off the show with the Zero Hour. We gotta talk about the Zero Hour first. And I guess like two matches on the Zero Hour and then we get to the main card. So they announced that Christian Cage will be defending the TNT Champion ship up against Darby Allin in a two out three falls match and that match will be the main event so yeah that match is apparently the main event for tonight's uh show but yeah we get to the zero hour now we kick off the zero hour with uh Tony Khan and a bunch of people just honoring Antonio Inoki that passed away last year I think this is the anniversary so yeah um that's what they was doing but then we get to the first match of the night on the zero hour it was an eight person mixed tag team match it was Keith Lee teaming up with Satoshi Kojima and uh, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Athena and Billy Starks versus Shane Taylor, Lee Moriarty, Diamante, and Mercedes Martinez in a eight-person mixed tag team match. So yeah, we get to this match. This match it was a good match for the most part. It was very short. It was. It did not last long at all. Uh, the legal people was uh, Lee Moriarty and uh, Kojima. So yeah, both of them was going at it inside the ring. And then we see Kojima. Well, we see Lee Moriarty trying to hit like a uh, dragon suplex a little like. But Kojima fought out of it. And then he hits a DDT on the Moriarty. He pins him. One, two, Diamante breaks at the pin at the count of two. That's when Billy Starks coming in there hitting a big roundhouse kick onto Diamante. Uh, and then Mercedes Martinez gets in the ring, and Athena's already in there, and then Athena had pushed Billy Starks out the way, and Athena gets hit with a spear by uh, Mercedes, and then Mercedes gets up, and then she gets hit with a big roundhouse spin kick by Billy Starks. Mercedes hits the ropes and comes back with a big clothesline, taking them both out, and then Kojima was beating down uh, Lee Moriarty up until Shane Taylor gets in the ring, headbutting him, and then Keith Lee gets in there, Pretty much hitting a massive spine buster onto uh, Shane Taylor taking him out, like literally throwing him up very high. And then Lee Moriarty drop kicks the knee of uh, Keith Lee. And then we see Athena jumping off the top turnbuckle with the Eclipse onto Lee Moriarty, but he was still standing up. So Keith Lee picks up Lee Moriarty on his shoulders and hits that big uh, move that he does. I forget what he calls it, but yeah, it was like with the big splash with the attitude adjustment onto Lee Moriarty. And then Kojima uh, waited for him to get back up, and he has that big clothesline on Super Moriarty, and then he pins up at the one, two, three. So, yeah, Keith Lee, uh, Satoshi Kojima, and uh, Athena, and Billy Starks defeated Shane Taylor, Lee Moriarty, Diamante, and Mercedes Martinez tonight in the eight person mixed tag team match. That's what happened. It was an all right match. I'll get that match two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. But up next on the zero hour, we're going to be seeing John Moxley versus Josh, uh, Josh Barnett up next in a one-on-one -on -one match. So yeah, that match will be up next on the zero hour. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until the next thing that happens on AEW Wrestle Dream. See you guys later. Until then.